locations, you might encounter tickets that are related uh, because of the type of request or the type of issue being reported. I'm going to play a scenario here where I have three tickets that have uh, something in common. And again, I'm going to use a very unique use case, but this can be applicable to any um, topic uh, within your support environment. What I'm going to do first is to locate those tickets that can be related. And, and I know there is a key element in between those tickets. Uh, so for this use case, I'm just going to type room 101 and I'm going to go ahead and do a quick search. So if you notice, automatically brought tickets that are related to, to that topic. They were submitted by different uh, end users as well. So I can't really merge those tickets because they're coming from different people. Remember, merging only works for the same contacts. But I can relate them together. So that way we can visually have a point of reference. When we open uh, the one up here on top, for instance, we'll be able to see all the ones at the bottom as related issues. And you'll see that in a moment. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, open the one on top, the first one. I'm going to uh, go directly into the right side, more actions. and use relate tickets. So here it's going to ask me uh, to search again. One more time, what I'm going to do is find that one element. In this case, I can recognize uh, the uh, key element that I was looking for earlier is printer in room 101. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to relate that one. I'm going to do one more. And yep, this is the one. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, select that one too. That's it. So I've selected the two that I wanted to relate. Go ahead and execute the uh, add as related uh, command. That's it. I've now gone inside or I remain inside the ticket that I opened previously. But I do want you to notice all the way down at the bottom, I'll always be able to see all the related tickets. So. Let me take you back into the list view again. So remember, these are the three that were uh, in the same or related to the same topic. Now that I've built that relationship, it doesn't matter what ticket I open. Look, I'm going to open the one at the bottom. And if I do that, I see the details on that ticket sent by Felicia. If I scroll to the bottom, there is that one related ticket. Uh, if I go back into the list again, and select the one in the middle, submitted by Jimmy. I open it. I see all the details. If I scroll to the bottom, all the other related tickets. And if I go into the main one, the one that we used to add the relationship, again, scrolling all the way down at the bottom, I can see again those two. Now, what's the beauty about relating tickets? If you notice, in here, you will be able to create some actions such as unrelate those tickets at a later time or send a mass reply. So if this is a use case where you are applying a resolution that, that can cover the three tickets, then you can quickly send a mass reply to everyone and say, hello. And at the same time, as I'm sending the uh, mass update, you could just basically close all those tickets at once. And because I'm the one performing the action, perhaps I could also assign all those to me. So I can look up for my name, select that, and add the reply. And that's it. That's how simple it is and how useful it is for you to find tickets that might be related because they're the same topic, same type of issue, once you build that relationship, then you can, for instance, send a mass reply, add a mass update of a status, priority, or even assignment on all those related tickets. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.